Hey you guys, it's Cami with Coast DIY Bar and I thought I would jump on. It has been a long time since I got in and talked about our family turtle pour kit. And I thought, we were, Barb and I were just talking. It is miserable, miserable outside today. So I thought, you know, it, I think it might even be the same tomorrow for Father's Day. So I thought, what, what fun, why wouldn't you just do a turtle pour? So I thought I'd walk through the kit um, and uh, apparently my music has continued in the background, so I'd like to uh, preface this with saying just don't listen to it because <laughs> I'm not supposed to have it on. All right, so your turtle pour kit can come with, uh, when you do a family kit, it's $30. And for $30, you basically get a free one because they're $10 a piece and you get four in the family kit. Now, if you come in and pick up a turtle pour kit, you get to choose your colors. You get 10 colors. If you don't come in, we're gonna pick a rainbow for you. We just do a full rainbow, which is super fun. And everything you need, except for a table covering, is in this box. You get the full box. Uh, you're gonna get four turtles, or you can do four turtles, four flowers, or two of each. So you get your choice of what you like. And then you're going to get four pour cups because it's really for four folks to do it all at the same time. You're gonna get four babies, depending on what you choose, you'll get turtles or flowers. Hey, Barb! Uh, so you'll get the four babies. And then you're gonna get popsicle sticks for all your colors. And then you're gonna get your silicone and it comes in a little little pot like this, okay? So with the, here's the thing I love about the family pour kit. Hey, hey Gail. Oh, your hand it, oh, be careful out there. Um, what I love about the family pour kit, when you do an individual kit, you get three colors. It's plenty to do it, it's fun, it's beautiful. Uh, this pearl was done with three colors. So you get really good uh, designs with just three colors, but what I love when you do a family pour kit is you get 10 and you get to share amongst yourselves. Now you can separate them and do three each, but you get 10. So I think what I'm gonna do is just, I'm gonna do, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna, what am I gonna do, Barbara Joy? I don't know, what are you gonna do? <laughs> so, uh, I'm gonna do. Oh, do something bright. Bright. It's so dreary outside. Oh, how about that? Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna do a turtle that looks like that. I'm just gonna pick three. You know what? I'm gonna do four because I can. And what I'm gonna show you is you don't use at all of each. Hey, Amanda. You don't do. You don't need all of each. I'm gonna show you how much you need. So, how do you do this? Now, if you're all doing them together, you can, my advice is to just uh, get a trash bag, cover the table, okay? Uh, that's the way to do it. You don't, it's gonna get messy. And when you're done, you could just take that trash bag and roll it all up and toss that away. Uh, but you need to do it in a space where you can leave them. Once you're done, you wanna set them down and you do not want to, you really don't wanna move these around a whole lot. You just wanna have them sit uh, it's gonna take about 24 hours to dry if it's wet like it is today, maybe a little bit longer, definitely not two days. So uh, just keep an eye on it. Um, this one this one was done two days ago. I haven't finished off. This is the one that I did live and I haven't finished off doing the front, but it's totally dry. Okay, so then the first thing you do with your pour paints is you're going to obviously take off the lids if you're gonna do, let's say you're a, a person that doesn't have four people to do the pours. Let's say it's just three of you or two of you. Then my advice is to keep the lids carefully set aside because you can do, let's say two one day and then the paint will sit and you can do the other two another day. Uh, if you've got one kid and you wanna keep them super busy for four days, you can do one a day. <laughs> the paint will hold, so you'll be fine. How many days is this supposed to rain? Should I don't know. How many days is it going to rain, you guys? I have no idea. But it's like, like I look outside, and when when it, the inside of our shop looks like it's nighttime, that's that's a sign that it's kind of meh outside. Okay. 
in this little container is silicone all right you get enough uh, this stuff is not cheap but you know we can keep the price down because we're you don't really need a lot to do these and my advice is to put silicone in um, not all of your paints so you could put it in one two or three or you could do four in this instance uh, and it's really what helps you create this cell action so if you see on this uh, scallop we did the other day those little cells that is created with the paint but the silicone helps you can get cells without silicone but it's, it is easier with the silicone so here's the easiest way to do it and to get the right amount uh, you truly could do one drop in a cup this big of paint you do not need that much but for this one what we're gonna do is all I do is I dip the popsicle stick in and pull it out that's it I even can let it drip off a little bit because I don't need all that wants to stick once it's done dripping I'm gonna get I'm gonna get one more drip maybe not I'm gonna take it and then I'm gonna put it right into the paint and you're gonna stir it in really good you want to get it nicely mixed throughout the paint uh, if you open your paint and uh, this paint has pouring medium already mixed in it so it's the right consistency you don't have to worry about it uh, that pouring medium can separate from the paint it's possible uh, we don't see a lot of it but it is possible if it does this action of stirring uh, it'll just mix it back up it'll be fine all right so you're gonna give this a good mix and then I'm gonna do I'm gonna do I'll do two colors this time uh, if you go back in our videos I did a, a test where we did the same colors on a bunch of different rounds and we used different numbers with silicone and stuff uh, and basically what we learned is you can't predict it <laughs> it's going to do whatever it wants and I don't know that it really matters which color you put them in like I said we tried to see if we could figure out the logic and that's part of the beauty of poured paints you cannot control it mm -hmm. you got to let it go you got to relax into it now I did put silicone in the orange and the green and I'm just gonna stir my yellow I'm not gonna add the oil to that just making sure that it's good and then the white if you're not going to do all four turtles at the same time and you need to reserve some popsicle sticks just rinse them off they'll be fine you can use toothpicks to stir your paint doesn't matter okay now what I'm gonna do when you're doing your turtle port you're gonna get these cups these are um, they're recycled cups they're uh, they're certified compost compostable compostable they're made of corn oh they're made of corn I got them because they're a little bit more expensive but I know that we're basically gonna throw them away and they are uh, they're made from certified compostable products it felt better for the environment so that's what they are so on this though there's a line right here you don't need any more than that okay you don't even need that much but it's just a good line to mark so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start pouring and make my pour cup. Here's my tip. My tip. Mm. <laughs> I always get paint on myself when I do these. Uh, my tip is don't stress out about this part. Oh my gosh, y'all. Did you see that? I went back the other way. Obviously, don't stress out about this. If you've got an apron, right next to you. wear it. Barb's like, there's paper towels there. You can stop wiping it all over yourself. Mm -hmm. um, but my, let me get to my tip. My tip is <laughs> layer the paint. And if you can get at least two layers in your cup, that's probably best. If you don't, it, again, you're going to get a beautiful result. But I do think it's uh, best to get two layers I'm actually gonna not even make it up to that line I don't think I need to I'm using about half of each of these not really even that much and I'm actually gonna go ahead and seal these back up so maybe we'll come back on later and do a different pour 
Remember, you can get turtles, flowers, mixture separate. And then keep your silicone. You're going to have more than you need in here. Um, keep that. Oh, oh gosh, I wore the wrong glasses again. Sorry. Hey, Meg, you ordered a kit online and said it'd be available Thursday. Oh, come on down. You can get it today. Uh, the system is set up to, uh, I thought I changed that too. The system is set up to require a certain number of days to put the kits together. Come on down. We'll make it for you. Even if it's not ready-made, apparently there's a kit order uh, okay. to go. Okay, so now you've got everything in here. Let me see if I can. There we go. It's my, my uh, ability to flip that over. And so you're going to do it on the turtle. And I know that the white is hard to see, but, oh, ooh, I'm hitting buttons. Hang on. There we go. I'm trying to darken the screen and not doing it. Um, you're going to do it on here. And normally when you do this, you're going to have one of these cups that you can use. You're going to take this empty, flip it over, and that's where you're going to put your turtle when you're done. Because I'm saving mine, I'm just going to use one of these other cups right this second. You can use anything at home to prop it up. doesn't matter. You want it to be relatively level because if it sits overnight, uh, and I've done this, the paint will over time ooze off the side. <laughs> so make sure it's, I mean, like I wouldn't pull out a level, but just make sure it's close to level. And then what we, uh, what you're going to do on here is a flip cup. Now you could just take this paint and pour it on the top. It will give you cells. It'll do its magic, but the flip action helps with the process. So let me kind of flip it over and I'll tell you why. So that we give you the right size cup. So in this instance with the turtle, you get this one, get it right in the center. And then I want you to flip it all together. Oh, yeah, yeah. Come on up, Meg. We'll get you straight. And then if you're doing, if you get one of the leaf pours, you're going to get two cups. And there's a separate video for how to do the leaf pour with the two baby cups. Same with the butterfly. The butterfly, you get two smaller cups, which helps you distribute the paint. But the turtle, the flower, and the new scallop shell, you can do with the one cup. Oh, and then if you do, don't forget we have the big surfboards. That's a two cup. This in and of itself is 30, but you get five paints, you get a bunch of stuff. It's a doozy. Um, this is fun to do. That's a two cup also, and you have to watch the video on how to do that. All right, while I've been running my mouth, what's happening is all the paint in this cup is dripping through the other paint. And imagine, right, that's what's creating these cells. It's popping through. So when you do the flip, you get a tremendous number of cells because of that. And they're just kind of going up and down, up and down. And you can start to see the cup get a little bit clear. And that's when you know it's coming down off the top. Uh, another tip is I like to leave this as long as I can stand it. If you've got little ones, we've had two and three year olds doing the flips. Obviously you have to help them a little bit, but uh, if they can't wait, you're still gonna get beautiful results. Don't worry about that. If you can let it sit long enough, you'll get more of the paint off the bottom. Okay, get it lined up. All right, you're ready? So here's the thing, when you do the turtle, because the arms are like this, you have to pull it and then you have to start your motion to get the paint moving and twist it around. If you're doing one of these that has more, uh, more of a circular kind of look to it, the paint isn't gonna go off the edge really fast. So you've got a little bit more time with these. And you'll see what I'm talking about. As soon as I pull this, it's gonna to start to go. And you'll watch me, I'm gonna tip it to fill the head, the arms, and the feet. And if it doesn't make it that far, I'll show you how you can cover those, okay? You ready? All right, here comes the sunshine turtle. Oh, pretty. All right, and I'm going over the edge. Going over the edge. And then I'm gonna come down and I will try to turn it around a little bit while it's going down on the legs there. So you just kind of have to work it. It's a moving. We'll just 
a little move into there. Now, you want to let the excess drip off, and there'll come a point where you see that it's really just not flowing off. It's kind of getting oozy, and it's a risk that it's going to all go off the edge. So I'm going to stop, and what you notice is I didn't get that corner. It's no big deal. All I'm going to do is dip my finger in it, and I'm wipe it right across the bottom. And what's going to happen is this is still, there we go, I got it. I gotta get it right so that the light hits it. Hang on, I'm working on it. There we go. It's dripping when I'm doing that. But what's gonna happen is this is gonna change over time. Cells are gonna pop up. It is super fun to watch. So when you do it with the kiddos, I want you to watch it for a minute because it will change. It's not an immediate, um, the results aren't immediate. You can see the orange popping up through the yellow Yeah, head. the orange is popping up here. I like the orange and the yellow together. Uh -huh. Is that nice? Gorgeous. Now, you're going to let this sit 24 plus hours. And then while you're sitting here, uh, you've got this uh, baby turtle. Every big turtle gets a baby turtle. And the whole point is, like, you're going to have a lot of runoff. So we wanted to give you something that you could dip into it. We call them dippers. So find a good spot that you love. Literally just shove him in there and yank him out and he'll look a little gooey but it will settle and he will look just like his little big counterpart his little big counterpart mm -hmm. the cup looks super cool on the inside um, what you want to do is if you've got stuff laying around the house just arts and crafts stuff dip it go grab it you can like little tiny pots you can dip those you can dip wood you can dip um ceramics you know what i'd like to try what do you want to try i have some bamboo spoons and wooden spoons it would be i think it'd be fun to dip yes the ends of them oh yeah yeah I if that would decoratively yeah, yeah you could do that you could she's talking about your kitchen spoons that are wood you could dip the ends like i could dip this hammer i would if we didn't use this hammer every day but you could dip the hammer and then if you sealed it really good, now a hammer is going to get a lot of use, but a yeah. kitchen tool would be cute and decorative. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you can do anything like that. You can dip it. So as you can imagine, if you got this, of course, by yourself, you could do all four by yourself. But if you've got the kiddos, <laughs> uh, get yourself a family pour. It's a good... Here's my advice. When we do pours in the shop, uh, I like to do them one at a time because each one is individual, each one is fun. Take pictures, take videos, send them to me. I'll post them. I love to post them. I'm working on a turtle post with examples. Okay, look, this one has settled. That is the baby that I just dipped. So he's gonna be cute. And you're just gonna watch it. It will dry from the outside in. I do see an edge on here that I missed. So notice that I just scoop a little bit up and just put it on there, oh, over here too. And that's it, super fun. So if you want a turtle pour, hey Marissa, oh, Marissa. Oh wait, hold on. Look, this is me trying to figure out which part of my glasses to read with. I dipped cardstock pieces. Yes, cardstock. Oh, here's the other thing. This part on the paper, uh, if you do it on like aluminum foil or something like that, they call it acrylic skins. So the, the paint that's left on here, if you peel it, people are making jewelry and stuff out of that. So you can play with that. Uh, Marissa, I have your oval, so it's ready for you. Uh, but acrylic pores, come on down. We've got shells, butterflies, flowers, turtles. We've got tropical leaves. We've got big surfboards that are, it's 30 for the big surfboard. Um, and we'll make you a kit. We're here till six today. Come on down. We're here one to six tomorrow as well. So if you can't get down here today and you wake up totally bored and you just see this tomorrow, come on down. All right. We'll see you guys. Have a good one.